Hey everybody, Dragon Rider Jack here with another part of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. So, in the last part, we got to Snorlax, and we also got the expansion doohickey, so we can get the stations here. Although there don't seem to be a lot of them. Alright, so past 15 there's them, but, but below 15 there's none. Alright. Here we go, here's Poke Flute. There we go. And that's what you gotta do, you hit A next to him. And you place it near him, because he can't hear you when you're by his foot. Poor hearing, the fat Pokemon of this, of this world have. So, he's level 50. Tip of my mouse is on the screen, but don't worry about that. Alright, I am seriously... I know he has rest, and pretty sure he has snore. This thing likes to freeze. So freeze the crap out of him right now. He can't use rest if he's frozen. And yeah, he has snore. He has another set of leftovers. So you can get two sets of leftovers. I'm trying to catch him. I'm not going to use him. But those leftovers... He's worth catching just for the leftovers. Seriously, he hasn't been anything yet. And my runs through the Elite Four to get Larvitar. Every time I used it, I, I froze or paralyzed. We're gonna do like 10 damage. 20. What? 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 Yeah, okay, he recovered with leftovers. Thank you. Of course he's using roll out. Oh, what a. Oh, what a. I hate fat, man. Just fat in general is just awful. Critical hit, huh? Did I kill it? Yes, I did. And so... Yes, I had to speed that up. Alright. So, this is basically my strategy here. If I didn't get a critical hit, I would have at least thrown an Ultra Ball at it. Okay, yeah. Now we can do this to him. He's just gonna use rest now, though. Let's see if Thundershock can hurt him more, more than uh, try attack. Not really. He has thick ass fat. I don't know if I should just keep using. I think I'm gonna save try attack for if he uses a rest again. If I get another, another horribly, horribly, horribly unlucky critical, I'm gonna be super pissed. The times you get criticals are the times you don't want them. Most of the time, any time a critical is against you, you don't want it, so. See, he's paralyzed, so I think I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at him. Actually, you no, know, I wanna risk it, because I have it. I can defrost it again. I can cut him out if I really wanted to. Yeah! The most powerful rollout, probably gonna kill me. Even though it's not very effective, which just... And that's not even critical, that just goes to show you how freaking powerful Snorlax is. Who would be really hard for him to beat? I guess it's Dragon. Dragon Junior, chi my child, you can do this. Alright, come on. He's not a legendary... Sure, he's a special, special find, but you should catch him. Seriously, you're gonna disobey me like that, Ultra Ball? You're asking for a smack. Oh, great. We're all on super effective. He has a lot of HP, so if he gets a little bit higher, I'm gonna use Dragon Rage. As long as it's in the red and he's paralyzed, I have a good shot at catching him. What is this blasphemy? It was too close. It wasn't close enough. Because he didn't actually get caught. See, I don't even know if I should risk it now. Let's try one more Ultra Ball, and then if he recovers the leftovers again, I'm using Dragon Rage. I could try, like, Wing Attack, but I'll probably kill him. I have really awesome attack stat. Really? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Whatever works. Uh, let's see. This Pokemon... 
This Pokemon stomach is so strong, even eating moldy or rotten food will not affect it. I mean, it's so large. Of course, I'm gonna name him something. I'm just gonna name him FAT. In all caps. With an exclamation point, because he is FAT. Alright, now he's out of the way, forever. For all of eternity, so I'm just gonna save. Yes, I would like to save the game. Yes, I would like to overwrite. Thank you so much. And now you can go look. Alright, you have like basically two ways to go, and I think I'll look on the map and show you guys where there is to go. Alright, so the map, you have. You can go up. Wait. No, wrong. Alright, you can go and dig the cave, which will. Through some miracle, it goes to the left. And you'll end up in. Viridian City, and then you can go to Pewter City from there. And you can still go through Mount Moon, which I probably. I probably will, I just don't want to go through Rock Tunnel, I don't have Flash. If I do have Flash, I'll teach it to a slave and go through Rock Tunnel, like, later. And you can go to Pal down to Pal Town from there, and you can go to, uh, or you can go <coughs> to the right and then down, or you can even go back to Celadon and go down by Cycling Road to go to get to Fuchsia, which is really where you're supposed to go next. So, and I think you need Cut to go through here, and I don't have a cut slave with me right now. I'm not going back to the Pokemon Center. Holy shit. This guy's avoidable. I'm cutting him out. Oh, damn. He had a Zaw, too. Fantastic. And all of them are really avoidable, going through the tall grass. So I'll go through the grass real quick, show you Meowth at level 13, because apparently Noctowls got imported to Kanto from, from Johto. They flew over that really, really, really tiny river that I'm pretty sure Ash just went over a river to get to Johto in the, in the anime. Uh, but you know what, I'm gonna cut out this whole place, I'm gonna fight all the trainers, and I'll be right back. I'll tell you about, like, kinda what they had. Alright, just cause I don't wanna forget, revive here, regular berry here, this guy had executes, and ex executors, and the guy in the grass down there had... Aw, oh, shit, he had, uh... What did he have? He had a crowbat, and a sand slash. So... Just, now I'm going to go finish the rest of the guys. Alright, this is the guy's last guy. He had a, uh... Something easy. What it, it took me two... A Growlithe. Just took me two pecks to get. Whoa, there's not even a... They took out the house. They did some major renovations, and I know that whoa was really loud, but calm down. Alright, so I'm going to kind of head through this route and battle a bunch of people. Just the guys above that you go down from Lavender Town. You don't really have to fight the Snorlax at all... Kinda. You could go back with the Mount Moon, I think. But, you know, whatever. Actually, you know what? I think you need to go through Diggler Cave to get to the left. I think you can't go back with the Mount Moon, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm gonna, as soon as I fight a couple of these guys, I'm gonna meet you back here. They're all fishermen, Magikarps, Goldines, blah, blah, blah. Alright, I fought the three guys up there. Uh, they're, they, one guy had two Memorades, one guy had, like, two Magikarps, a Tentacruel, a Quillfish, and something else. And the other guy had, like, two Sea Kings or something like that. Anyway, this guy gives you the Super Rod. I just got the Super Rod because I'm awesome and super in all types of ways. It's the house right below, like, if you went down from from the Vermilion little route. But I'm going to fight more of these guys, and I'll meet you guys if there's, like, an unskippable guy. But you don't even really have to do this. Yeah. All right. Whatever. I'll just... Yeah. All right. I'm just checking in again. This is what I'm going to do. All right. P six Pikachus, all level 23. Wow. H horrible. All right. Farfetch'd, uh, Fear 1, Pidgeotto. And if you go up here... Not that. That guy has three Gyaradoses. All level 30. There's a thing in there. I don't have Cut, though. And I'm not going to go get a Pokemon with Cut just to do that. So, yeah, those guys are blocking my way because they're fat. This guy's fatter, though, but whatever. And in here, there's, like, Dittos and stuff. Just like the main game. There's There might be, like, a, a Johto Pokemon in there somewhere, but it doesn't really matter. So, yeah. Let's see. What's this guy have? Oh, good. Nitto King. So, I'm just going to... Whoa, whoa, Slow King, I gotta show this. Slow King is if you have the uh, King's Rock and you trade a, sl uh, a slow poke. Not a slow bro, a slow poke. He will evolve into this guy. He's like an intelligent slow... He's the same type, he's just like intelligent, and he's more powerful than... He's more offensive than, than slow, slow bro is. Slow bro is more defensive, Slow King is more offensive. Just the two different branches, and he has a sea, uh, sea king. Alright, that doesn't matter. Alright, so yeah, I showed that one guy that went up to 43. Oh, and by the way, by the way, guys, just so you know, Booming D finally, finally learned another move. At level 50, 
Believe it or not, finally, finally, he learned Confuse Rain and I didn't teach it to him. Because that's stupid. Learn a Psychic move. Holy fuck, man. And not Future Sight. One that actually attacks when I wanted to attack. Whatever. I'll meet you guys when I get more done. Like, yeah. Alright, he's a hiker with a golem, two gravelers, all use self-destruct, and like, uh, something else. Sand Slash at the beginning. Uh, so I'm gonna keep going. Alright, Bubble Star Squirrel and Charmander. Again, you can get use cut to get around. Well, you don't actually have to. You can just do that. But yeah, Bubble Star Squirrel and Charmander. Not he oh, well-balanced team is what he says after, you, after he loses the fight, but whatever. Alright, I gotta come back here with Cup. But yeah, this guy had a Psyduck, and this guy down here has two Fieros. So, nothing really bad. A lot of people have berries on this road, though. So, just be wary of that, I guess. Alright, I'm only showing this because Teacher Colette... If that was in, like, super high definition, I bet you she'd be hot. She's a teacher strict, you know, you like that, alright. And she had a Clefairy that was annoying because I had to minimize. This guy had Bell Sprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell. And then I'm just moving down the road more, so I'll be right back. Alright, Pupitar's actually pretty boss. This guy had something stupid. Oh, po he had a Poliwhirl. He had something else that was stupid first. Then he had a, uh, a Ditto. And then he had a Paris, which I killed with Pupitar, actually. So, yeah. All low-level stuff. And there's more people. Awesome. Alright, this is another teacher. Yeah, she does look good. Alright, she has the same sprite. Alright, she had... Uh, Something that was weak to electricity, a, a flying type, I think. And then I had to switch to Drippy because... Oh, she no, no, no. She had an Ambi... An uh, Apom. And she had a... Oh my god, I'm taking more time than if I actually just showed the fight super speeded up, trying to remember what she had. What was her second Pokemon that I had to switch to Drippy for? Uh... Shit. I forget. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it was a rock type of some kind, I kind of forget. Uh, this guy had nothing important. Uh, and this one had, like, Magnemites and Magnetons and stuff. And we're in Fuchsia. Thank God, finally. Holy crap. Alright, so... This place always traps me. So, super speed fart mode once again. And... He, all right, yeah. Uh, in the remakes, he actually moves the Safari Zone to, um, uh, not Olivine, Sienwood City. So, yeah, that happens. All right. That was a bird keeper. I'll fight everyone on Cycling Road later. Pokemon Center is all the way freaking over here. And then in this house is Grandpa Bill. Oh, Bill's grandpa or something. Awesome. That's the gym. And let's take a little bit more of a tour. Do I seriously need cut to get up there? I need cut. Awesome. So I'm gonna go back to the other route when I get a Pokemon with cut. I'll be right back. Alright, use cut really down by the road. Yeah, PP up. Alright. Down here, right at the bottom. And this. There's Ditto in here and Venonats, which are kinda cool. I like Venonats. And if you get a Chansey, apparently, you can trade for an Aerodactyl. Holy crap. That's probably the only way to get Aerodactyl in this game. I'm glad I showed that, because I'm awesome. And you guys all love me. Alright, so now let's finish taking our tour. I had to go get cut a bitch out. Alright, who is this? You, I want to I talk to you. Stop. I just want to talk. I don't want to rape you or anything. Yeah, it was Future's main attraction, so no one fucking comes here anymore. Go on. Burnt Berry. Probably cures ice. We could fish here for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Koga's daughter now leads the gym. Safari Zone's closed down. Wait, this thing says closed. Traveling abroad, guys. Leave me alone. I just want to be alone with my thoughts and building of Safari Zones. Alright, yeah, so that's the whole town. There's nothing really of note up there. We're not going to take on the gym in this part. But we will go switch cut a bitch out to end the part off. I don't need I didn't fight anyone. I don't even know what that what that means, so I'm just gonna do it the normal stupidly slow way. I have to take him out again later anyway. Boom, down at the bottom. There's Boom and D. There's Boom and D! 
important against the poison type because I don't know what they'll have. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for this part, and I'll do my outro as you guys are... Oh, uh, that's stupid. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, alright. Uh, thanks everyone for watching. The next part, we'll take on the Fuchsia Gym. We'll probably do Cycling Road. And I'll probably show Cycling Road so that I show a route, like how to get to Fuchsia. Just, be just because. And I'll just probably like speed it up the whole time because it's just going to be a bunch of like coughings and bikers and stuff, you know. So I'll probably do that to start off the part and then uh, do the gym in the next part or something like that. But uh, thanks everybody for watching and um, that's it. see everybody next time.